Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Freddy Fazbear is a brown animatronic bear, the star attraction of the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, as well as the face and person namesake of the company that owned it, Fazbear Entertainment. Freddy takes the role of lead singer and percent overall performer of the band, standing in the center of the stage. Undisclosed to Fazbear Entertainment the public, Freddy is possessed by the restless spirit of Gabriel, a little boy murdered by Willie Mafton. Due to this, Freddy is likewise possessed and mates are now seeking revenge against their common killer by attacking any similar looking adults in the pizzeria after hours in a blind rage, not knowing that they, the children, are being manipulated by Willie Mafton. However, Freddy is evidently friendly towards children and person seeks to save his, his friends, own souls as well as any other children targeted by Willie Mafton. He beat the Twisted One so badly that a cave connected to larger Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, the big house, ampersand massive holes in the cave fell apart, making him city block level. He should be comparable to his ourself, due to it being built to be as similar to the original as possible, who scales to our Foxy, who dodged electricity, which can move at 90% of the speed of light, making him relativistic plus. He should be comparable to Springtrap, who was able to survive the burning of Fazbear's Fright. He is excellent in terms of stealth, as he often hides himself in shadows and percent can easily sneak into the night guard's office, almost without being seen or heard. Freddy can be tampered with Ampersand possibly reprogrammed, can only operate from midnight to 6 a.m. Ampersand can be fooled by someone wearing a spare Freddy as their head. He will normally refuse to harm children. Pulling on his boat he will open his chest, leaving his wires and then the split and exposed Ampersand vulnerable. He is also vulnerable to heat based attacks. He produces more static, making it easier to track his location. Overall, even with those flaws, Freddy still proves why he is still the mascot of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Baldi is the math teacher of her school. Despite his calm and percent encouraging attitude at first, his true colors become clear once the player gets a question wrong on one of his quizzes, sending him on a wrathful chase for the student across the schoolhouse to punish them by beating them with wooden ruler. He is able to one-shot the player, who can survive being slammed into all that high speed by got a sweep. He also scales to those who can harm him. He can outspeed the player ampers and move several meters instantly. If the player fails too many times, Baldi will move so fast that he can cover a whole room in a second, making him high hypersonic. He survived hits from got a sweep ampers and first prize without being harmed. He also survived a point-blank explosion inside his shrink machine, making him small island level. Baldi may be zany and has questionable methods, but he is a clear-sighted math teacher when he needs to be, so he has presumably acquired a bachelor's degree. He is a capable perfectionist, an inventor. Baldi invented a shrink machine as his greatest invention yet, although it malfunctioned during its demonstration. The description of the portal poster item in Johnny's stores states that it is super technology invented by Baldi. Baldi's least favorite tape, or something which can cause loud noise such as noise phone, can disrupt his hearing. He is easily distracted by Apple, 
He constantly smacks his ruler against his palm, producing noise that gives away his presence and first and allows the opponent to decipher his location. This can be negated if his ruler breaks. While his fog machine makes it harder for the opponent to see, the same applies to him, though his hearing remains the same, enabling him to still find the opponent. Overall, even with those flaws, Baldi is still a very dangerous teacher who will make sure that you don't fail in math. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. So this is interesting, Baldi is far stronger, more durable, and far smarter. Meanwhile, Freddy is far faster and has way better abilities. So who wins here? As I said, Baldi is far stronger, and every time he gets mad, he gets faster. That and he has a whole bunch of weapons that can help him like portal posters. Freddy, however, still has far greater speed. What is the point of being able to one-shot someone if you can't even touch them? Also, pretty much everything Baldi can do, Freddy also has plus more. Also, it is heavily implied that Null is the one who gave Baldi the ability to control the environment as when he deletes himself. Baldi's standard get out while you still can scream with less loud line, and several secret endings where he showed up are replaced with Baldi doing more mundane things. So meaning Baldi doesn't have control over the game. So in conclusion, Freddy wins due to being far faster, his better spelled, and having far better abilities than Baldi, but this isn't an easy win still. Now, if you want to see a rematch with Golden Freddy going off against Null, let me know through the voting poll. Next time on Total Fight Time. In my day, we had fantastical feasts when I lived to the palace. One little pony all by herself. How will I ever prevent this daring rescue?